Hey, good morning. Back behind the wheel. This is Dave Kelm. It is uh, day 22, COVID-19. I have to run off to a quick little thing. Easter was two days ago. And growing up, our family, and we would go out to my mom's sister, my Aunt Dolores, and my Uncle Mortaza's house in Elmhurst. And I grew up in Oak Park, and going out to Elmhurst seemed like it was super far away. Of course it wasn't, but, you know, you were little, right? When you're little, travel times are anything more than, you know, five or ten minutes. That's a long ways away. Uh, my dad's mom, my grandma Kelm, she lived down in Lamont, which we might as well have been driving to the edge of the earth uh, as a kid, you know, if you went out there for uh, some family get-together, it was just like, we're never gonna get there and then we're never gonna get home. Anyway, so we would drive out to uh, Dolores and Mortazaz and uh, have Easter celebration with them and would watch, invariably would watch, you know, Sunday afternoon, uh, the Ten Commandments. And I remember it being on because it's long. So we just watched it this past Easter and actually took two nights to watch it. The movie is three hours and 40 minutes long. Three hours and 40 minutes long. Who does that? Who does that? Three hours and 40 minutes long. And uh, it actually has an intermission. And a thing that says, intermission! So in 1956, when it was made, I can only imagine that an intermission, right? Everyone got up just like the theater just like a play, just like a musical. Everyone got up, they went outside, they got some snacks maybe, they got a little drinky, they got a little smoke in. Although in 56, I wonder, I bet they smoked in the theater during the movie, right? Probably. Anyway, so uh, so we would go to Dolores and Mortisaz and we would watch, uh, part of the day was, was the Ten Commandments was on. That was just one of those things. And I remember one year, and it was it was in it was in their second house because it had like a back family room or TV room or something. And I remember that for whatever reason. Okay, okay, you drive such a big SUV that you can't figure out how to make a right-handed turn. Anyway, uh, that that it started at like some like five thirty or six, and. So usually, I mean, you right Easter, you'd have Easter dinner, you know, noonish or early afternoon. You, weather was usually crappy as it is usually on Easter, and we would play or do whatever. And then the the movie would be on, and you know, maybe maybe you have a sandwich or something uh, for supper before you went home, and we'd be home, you know. Well, for whatever reason, they decided they being the big broadcast honchos decided that uh, the Ten Commandments would be on uh, sometime in the evening. I want to say like 5.30 or 6 or maybe even 6.30. Meaning it wasn't over until like 10.30 or something. And I remember as a little kid thinking that was just the coolest thing. We got to stay at my aunt and uncle's house until like 10.30 at night. And it was just great. It was just great. Anyway, I don't know why this weird glare is happening here. I wonder, what, I wonder if that's off of the dashboard or something. Anyway, uh, again, high production value. Very high production value for your money. So the Ten Commandments, uh, if you haven't seen it in a while, if you've never seen it, absolutely something uh, worthwhile. It is crazy costumes, crazy uh, uh, acting, crazy sets. I mean, you look at these sets and you think, holy, you know, they made these sets really for like in some cases, you know, like a 30 second or, or a minute long scene, and the set is in, is just nuts. Um, just an amazing, amazing production. Uh, it is three hours and 40 minutes. We bought, I bought it, because it's, it's, I think it's important to have. It's part of the collection now, part of the Apple television movie collection. It cost $4.99, uh, so I figured, you know, to rent, it rental is $3.99. I popped for the dollar. It was Easter after all. I was feeling generous. So if you uh, if you have an Easter movie, I don't know, are there other Easter movies? It seems like an odd movie to play on Easter. 
to be honest with you, really, when you think about it. Good, big-time, Old Testament stuff. It isn't really the Easter story at all, um, but it it is an Easter movie tradition. Um, you know, there are other holidays. Obviously, they have movie traditions in our house uh, during the, the holiday season or Christmas season. You have to, We have to watch White Christmas uh, with uh, Danny Kane and Bing Crosby. And on Christmas Eve, right, you watch The Christmas Story or A Christmas Story, uh, which is an awesome movie. And Halloween, uh, the girls, even though they're older now, uh, they watch some Disney movie. A oh, Hocus Pocus. That's like a big Halloween uh, uh, time uh, movie. But they're really, I mean, The Ten Commandments, that's it, really, right? I mean, there isn't any other major Easter movie. Um, I guess there are some about the Easter story, about about the resurrection, about all that stuff. But, you know, okay, that's fine. The Ten Commandments, though, that's what broadcast television wanted you to watch in the 70s and early 80s. So I feel that that's appropriate. Anyway, uh, gone a little long. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Talk to you soon. See you.